Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Gears 12 here with the last Metallica album review. Te te technically, uh, Death Magnetic's the last release, but I skipped Load and Reload for various reasons. The Load and Reload Best Songs is still up on my YouTube channel, and now that I have thinking I should go back and do the whole album, so I already did Load, so now it's Reload. Um, this album was released in 97. Um, a lot of people, when heard this album they were like okay this is it Metallica definitely changed like Load they like went oh like fans were freaking out over Load so and when they heard Reload they thought well th th these songs are worse than the Load ones my opinion they both are similar they both have the the good songs they both have the weak songs um but, you know that, that's just how it is in music you know you can't always write full amazing songs on every album like, you won't have like each album every song is good there's going to be a couple songs that are not good one song not good vice versa whatever you know so metallica aren't perfect but everybody wants them to be and they're pretty close but you know some of these songs on reload and Saint anger of course and a little bit on load not that much are either not good or they're just not up to their par, up their capability of what they can write. Um, so here we go with Reload's album review. So here we go. Fuel. This starts off the album in a crazy way. James just jumps in automatically as soon as you put that CD and bam, he hits you. And Fuel jumps in. That is a crazy song. You know, you jump, you get into it, you, you, you sing along with it. It's a great song to play live. They play it live great still. And you know they just they, they just get the pe people going it's a great song live it's a great section some great double bassing by Lars and some in a set in some sections got some great guitar work a great riff and just good vocals and it's a really nice way to start off this album and I really think that's her that they chose that good the memory remains that song is um it's quite a um it's kinda hard to put my finger on it it's a good song it's got great structure on it, how they built the song, and I like how they had that, uh, I can't remember her name, she did vocals at the end of Memory Remains, the la da 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 da, that sounds weird, whatever, you get what I'm saying, Memory Remains, good structure, good bass, it's got a good solo, it's got some good, um, just got a lot of, got a lot of everything, got a lot of good stuff in it. And I really enjoy that song. And when they play it live, the crowd gets into it, sings the ending, and it's really awesome just to watch the crowd reaction to it. It's really awesome. The Devil's Dance. Now, this is a rarity for Metallica. They, you know, it's one of them heavy, it's like a heavy song. It's not like thrash heavy, it's just heavy. It's like the God, the God That Failed in the Black Album. This is uh, the God That Failed versions on um, Reload, The Devil Dance. It's heavy, it's groovy, it's got some catchy parts in it. I love the bass intro they got with it, and I just love how the guitar uh, riff over the bass at the beginning, how that works really well. And I like the lyrics, how James sings it, and live when he did it. Um, Rock AM Ring, yeah, Rock AM Ring, kind of think it's just I Am Ring, and whatever else, there's like all these different ones. Fix my glasses. Um, we had the Devil's Dance. Uh, when they played it back 2008 in Rock AM Ring, it was really awesome. Go check it out on YouTube. 2008 Devil's Dance live, Rock AM Ring, or there's there's probably other ones of that year too. But um, Rock AM Ring's version is really good. So go check that out. It's got some it's good stuff. Uh, the Unforgiven Two. They've only performed this song once, and I, I don't understand why. It's a really great song. It goes really well with Unforgiven One and more or less Unforgiven 2. Um, wait, 3. <laughs> Oops, I messed up there. Sorry about that, you know, I'm kind of out of it, but I wanted to get this review out of there and just get it done with because it's been sitting around, I'm trying to get it done. But Unforgiven 2, it, it feels like it, it's built on the same structure as Unforgiven 1, but the riffs are changed up, uh, it's got more of a a catchier, um, I feel like it has more catchier chorus than Unforgiven 1, but you know, that's up to your decision what you want to choose. But Unforgiven 2, it's a great song. They need to play it live. They need to play it live again. I played it once at that 
uh, award show and it sounded bad so that's probably why they won't play it again but they really need to pull this one out they really need to play it again be a great song to play live I'm just saying better than you this is one of the weak songs my opinion I feel like yeah it's got a catchy chorus the catchy riff the riff just goes along with the words it says like better than you da -da 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 -da. it's the same thing there's no it, it, it's just the I, I it it's it's like a half and half one part of me likes how riffs go with words other half I don't like how riffs go with words because it's just the same thing just the words and then the riff copies it and that's what happens in better than you the riff copies the words and I just I I like the song but not to not that much to the where I like okay this is this is a great song it's one of their weaker ones compared to fuel memory remains unforgiven to you know devil's dance pretty much all four like this is the, the fifth song is a weak one compared to the first four that I just said so um, it's a weak one I just it's it's okay it's just not that great I wish the structure would have been better guitar work would have been a little bit more creative but you know it's one of the weak it's one of the weak ones in the album my opinion you can have your own opinion uh, slither same thing weak song I like the riff okay the very beginning I don't like the beginning I do not like that it just sounds too it sounds like it's too easy like just too easy like it took them like it sounds like it took them like 20 minutes 10 minutes to write that intro it's so easy to it's just easy and I wish they you know you can play you, it's different when you can play stuff easy and it sounds easy and it's just like why they do that and there's other stuff that's easy and it sounds epic from the bell tolls easy easy song to play yet it sounds epic Slither's intro easy to play not that fun to listen to. It's not epic. It's not. It's not. It's not have a thump. It doesn't have that. That that you know that sound. It just sounds plain. So it, it's what it is. Uh, my opinion. Go check it out if you want to. I don't recommend it really. But you know the song does get better after the intro is done. But with that intro, it just throws me off and I just don't feel it. Carpe Diem Baby. I thought I wouldn't like this song when I first heard about it. But when I started listening to it, I kind of feel for it. It I like the way I like the vocal work in it. I like the drumming in it. it sounds it sounds it, it goes really good with the song. Um, you know, it I wouldn't say it's a weak song, and I wouldn't say it's a great song. It's kind of like it, it's a it's an okay song. It's not weak. It's not good. It's okay. Um, you know, the structure was pretty good, I think, but the structure could have been better. Um, it wasn't, but that's okay. Uh, that's just how it is. So, um, but you know, Metallica can't do everything right, can they? Uh, but you know, go check it out if you want to. If you haven't heard it yet, just go check all the stuff out. Bad Seed. I like the intro. The intro is cool. And then that riff, uh, the verse riff. Is the verse riff? Or it's chorus riff? Okay, I don't know how we're to place it. But the riffs like da 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 where the wild things are. It's another like, I don't know how you call this, a ballad? Maybe it's a ballad. Yeah, it feels more ballady, maybe. Um, it's not a word, but you know, it's not, it's, it's kind of like a ballad, but it's, it's not. It's kind of weird. I like the intro. That's a cool intro guitar part. I tried to learn it. It's kind of weird. The tuning, the t when the tuning with it, it makes it sound a little weird, but it's cool. Weird. It's a cool weird. It sounds, it sounds mysterious and, you know, just really, it really catches you off guard. You're like, what? And they listen to it. Oh, this sounds cool. Yeah, I like this. So you start listening to that, and the whole song put together, it's really good. I like their whole take on the whole song. It sounds like, you know, just some. Just it takes you. It takes you in different places, and you like. And you like where it's going. Uh, this is the only writing credit Jason Newsett had on the Reload album, and. I like to think that he's the one who put the creativity in the song and make it sound so different and so like it just takes you in different places. 
I, I, I don't know, but it sounds like maybe that's what he wanted to do. To, like, instead of just taking you on a straight line, you're going turns and you go over here and come back. Sounds really cool and I like how that song is made. Prince Charming, I love the riffing, I love the solo at the end, I love the solo in the middle, I love the riffs, I love the I love that riff behind the solo. That riff is awesome. Um, I like uh, the chorus, James, just it, it, easy words, but he makes them sound really good. And that's the awesome part about that song. Um, just go listen to it. Go, if I had to recommend just one song out of the out of the one through ten and ten's Prince Charming. I would like you to go listen to Prince Charming first. Okay, that song you're thinking, I, I don't like this. Like, trust me, listen to the whole song, and you will like it. If you don't like it, then then you have a different taste in music than of what you want to hear from them than I do. But there is one song that I really want to recommend. I haven't got to yet, but when I do, everybody needs to go listen to that song. If you have not heard this song, and I'm gonna root that's the last song on the album, then stick around for the, my review part of it because you're going to love it. Because it's an epic, just epic. So, okay, Low Man's Lyric. Uh, more, it's This is more ballad -y. This is like their ballad. Besides Unforgiven 2, this is like their other ballad for the record. Low Man's Lyric. It's about a poor person, I'm assuming. But the lyrics, how James does it. But the riff is really good. I love the clean intro. I love how the whole song is structured. It's pretty much, it's the line thing, but it's a good line thing because it takes you straight up and it's all it does, but it sounds amazing. It's a great song to listen to. If you're depressed, sad, or anything, you know, listen to Low Man's Lyric. You know, it sounds depressing, but it's really catchy and you'll really feel something when you listen to it when you're depressed like I have. I, when I was sad and depressed, I would listen to that song and it was really... It really got me going. It's like, this is great. I like this song. It's awesome. Go check out that. Attitude. Hmm. Not saying weak. Not saying great. It's okay. But I like it. It's different. It. I like the... Oh, I hunger. I eat. Da, 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 born in attitude. I like that. Um, James does some great vocal work in Attitude. The guitar sounds pretty good. Um, drums sound pretty good bass you know you can actually hear the bass in this album you know some places uh, I like the bass and attitude um, I really like the work of this you know so so check out attitude fixer this is the song this is this is the outlaw torn of reload fixer is structured like outlaw torn in some ways some ways it's not the chorus is epic the chorus is epic let me repeat that. The chorus is epic. Because it is. It's, it's, the, the words are amazing. The verses are just to die for. This song is just so... It's it just epic. I mean, I, master, masterpiece. Yeah, a masterpiece song. A lot of people don't say that, but Fixer is just a great song. It's... Like I said, the Outlaw Torn of Reload. You gotta go listen to Fixer. If you like Outlaw Torn, if you love Outlaw Torn, if you don't like Outlaw Torn, go check out Fixer. Fixer is the song to listen to off Reload if you were to listen to a song. Great riffing. Great solo. I love the ending. James's vocals are just to die for in this song. You have to go listen to Fixer. It's great. and This album is just... It's a really great album. Um, you know, that's the review. Um, it's great. Go listen to all these songs. All of them. You know, just go listen to them. Uh, a lot of people won't agree. I rated all the albums. 10 out of 10. I don't I don't remember what I rated saying that. I haven't seen that. I haven't even looked at that video in forever. But I give it a 10 out of 10, even though it's got some weak songs. But Fuel, Unforgiven 2, uh, Prince Charming, Fixer. Uh, Devil's Dance, Bad Seed, they all make up for the weaker songs, and they make them up higher. I, th I give it a 10, so, you know, even if a lot of the songs aren't 10s, I still feel like the album deserves 10, so I love all Metallica stuff, I love all of it. So, go check out all those songs. I, I'm sorry if the length of this, I don't know what the length is, because the video's just going, but I'm sorry if the length is, I'm going to try to cut some of it down, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all the Metallica stuff.
I don't know what to do next. I have Metallica DVDs. I could review Metallica. The, I, can, I can review the Garage Inc. I could review their live shows, like live DVDs. But that's up to you guys. Message me, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do because I have some ideas. Maybe another YouTube channel like my own. Not the promotion video I did, but my own where I review, where I go and review bands. I review other bands' albums like on a separate channel. So you guys just let me know what you think and um, get back to me as soon as you can. Hope y'all like this video and hope y'all see y'all next time.